Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting video. Today we are diving into the past as we take a look at a device that's a decade old, the HTC One M8. We will be putting this relic to the test to see just how usual it is after all these years. So buckle up and let's find out together. First thing first, let's talk about the build quality. The HTC One I made boosts exceptional craftsmanship with its aluminum body that wraps around the device, giving it a sleek and modern look. Even by today's standards, if someone were to show you the back of this phone, you might mistake it for a more recent model than a 2014's phone. Now let's talk about the specs. Back in 2024, this phone was a powerhouse, featuring a Snapdragon 801 processor paired with 2 gig of RAM and 16 gig of storage. And the display here is a 5 inch full HD IPS display. It still holds up well with its vibrant colors, sharpness and decent brightness. Although it may not scream modern in today's bezel-less era. Speaking of features, the HTC One M8 surprises with its stereo speakers, a rarity even back then. While they may not match up to today's standards, they certainly held their own compared to other flagship devices of that time. Additionally, the 3.5mm headphone jack provides decent audio output. Let's talk about the camera. HTC was the first company to release a phone with dual camera. Their first device with dual camera was HTC Evo 3D which could take 3D photos. But in terms of HTC One M8, we got dual 4 megapixel sensor. One of them is wide and one of them is depth sensor. Even in 2014 standard, these cameras fall short. They were not really comparable with flagship devices of that time. Although the camera could take decent pictures, but lack of sharpness actually made them pretty much unusable. But anyway, if you buy this device or if you have one of these devices in 2024, you're not really going to buy one of these devices for camera, maybe for other things like for collection or anything like that. But the camera still works pretty well. They're really uh, like quick and you can take pictures. No issue with taking photos or videos with these cameras. So the big question, is it still usable in 2024? The answer is a resounding yes, albeit with some caveats. It serves well as a secondary phone for tasks like calls and messaging, and most applications still work. However, the battery life leaves much to be desired, and the device does heat up pretty well, and you will be able to feel that heat because of this pretty aluminium body so in terms of usability it is still usable but as a secondary device and there you have it folks a trip down memory lane with the HTC One I made thanks for tuning in if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content until next time take care